Your life with your dog is well organized, but you are concerned about the arrival of a baby. Would you like some advice? Your life with your dog is well organized, but the announcement of the imminent arrival of a baby worries you. Will your dog adapt to the presence of the new member of the family? Will you find the time to take care of the dog? Before the baby's birth, there are a few recommended steps to take. During pregnancy, if your conditions allow it, take long walks and return to teaching your dogs to walk on a leash without pulling you, notably so that he learns to walk next to the trawler. If you can't do it yourself, there is still time to contact a professional who can help you. The tutorial on how to walk your dog on a leash may be useful. Should the dog be denied access to the baby's room before he is born? It all depends on your dog's living conditions. If you live in a large space, being denied access to a room is not so important to your dog's well-being. On the other hand, if your living space is limited, everything must be reassessed. The risks of allergy are minimal. Children in contact with the animals from an early age are less confronted with allergy problems than those brought up in an environment without animals. When the baby is born, should you make your dog sniff the baby's laundry so that he accepts him? Nothing has been demonstrated on this matter, though the practice is widespread. It would be interesting to have a study confirm this. Can my dog be jealous? Jealousy, or rather the feeling of inequity, has been demonstrated to exist between dogs. It is possible to imagine it develop between a dog and a child. To avoid this, the dog must not associate the presence of the child with punishment or threat. The child's presence must be associated with positive interactions. When the child is in baby swing, the parents can play with the dog. When the baby is old enough to stand, parents can let the dog and child interact under the supervision through games or delivery of rewards. Of course, if the dog is too rough, these interactions are not recommended. When the child is in the stroller, take advantage of walks to take your dogs along. It will quickly associate strollers and outings. So time spent with your dog will decrease, but you can ensure the time spent together is of high quality and corresponds to his needs. The perennial advice is to never leave a child and a dog alone together. Adult supervision is necessary.